Hey Kings! You are once again welcome. In today's episode of Kings Tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a social media lower third, with Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. If you are new to my channel, I'm King. And every week, I share tips and tutorials on Premiere Pro, and Adobe After Effects. So if you want to learn and know more, consider subscribing, and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss anything. Okay. Let's start creating. Let's start with Photoshop. In Photoshop, we are going to create a new file, with Photoshop default settings. Ok, now, import your social media logo, and hit enter on your keyboard, good. Now, to make the logo editable, we need to rasterize it. So, right click on the logo layer and then, rasterize layer. Pick the magic cord tool, and click on the white space. This will select the white background, now, press delete on the keyboard to get rid of the white background. Right click on the white space, and deselect. It still looks like nothing has changed, but that is because, we are still having a white default background, so just select the layer, and hit delete on the keyboard. Great. We now have a transparent background. We did all these, because our logo was a JPEG file. So if your logo is already a PNG file, then let's start from here. Pick the pen tool, and cut the part that you are going to use for the animation. You can hold shift if you need a straight line. After cutting the path, right click on it, and pick make selection. Accept the default settings, and click OK. Great. Now we have two different shapes. But all the shapes are on the same layer. They have to be on a different layer, so that we can easily create the animation in Premiere Pro. So, select one of the shapes, go to edit, and cut. Move to the left corner, and click on the new layer icon. After that, make sure the new layer is selected. Go back to edit, and then, paste. Reposition it to match them up. You can do that by using the arrow keys. Now, select both shapes and scale them down, and that's it. We now have both shapes on different layer, so simply save it as a Photoshop file. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro. The first thing that we are going to do is to add a sequence, and I'm going to choose a 1080p sequence. After that, we will now import the Photoshop file into Premiere Pro, and also we are going to import it as a sequence. Now, open the folder, and you will find three different files. The two layers in Photoshop, and then, the combination of both of them. But let's drag the third one to the timeline, because we want to work on both of them. And also, keep the existing settings. This is already a nested sequence. So double click on it to open both files. But I have to decrease the scale, because my logo is too big for a lower third. So in the effects control panel, I will decrease the scale. And do the same to the other file too. And let's position them to the left bottom corner. Good. Now let's hide the first clip. Great. On the effects panel, search for the transform effect. And add it to the bottom clip. Good. Move some frames forward on the timeline, and add a keyframe to position. But make sure that you are working on the transform effect that you just added. Move back to the beginning of the timeline, and change the position for the logo to disappear. Uncheck use shutter composition angle and change the value to about 270. This will add a nice motion blur to your animation, and make your work look more professional. Now, reveal the first clip, and let's do the same thing to it. Add the transform effect to it. Move a bit forward, and add a keyframe to position. Move back to the point where the first clip is fully revealed, and change the position until the logo disappear, but for this one, I will adjust the vertical position, uncheck use shutter composition angle, and again, change the value to about 270. Good. Move forward on the timeline again, and add another keyframe to position. And for the last time, move forward on the timeline. But for this time, a bit far, and open it up, by adjusting the horizontal position. Select all the keyframes, right click on it, and then ease in. Open up the position, and drag the first point to the other side. Great. This will give you a smooth animation. Select the other clip, and do the same thing to it. Now, pick the text tool or press Ctrl or Command T on the keyboard, and then write your social media handle. Position it well, and if necessary, adjust the font size. Look for the point where the logo starts to open up, and add a mask to the text. Move the mask to the text, and then open it up for all the text to be revealed. Now, we have to animate the mask to follow the logo as it's opening up, so, we are going to position the mask before the logo. Good. Now, in the effects control panel, add a keyframe to mask path and select mask, move frame by frame, 
by clicking on this icon. And then, be positioning the mask to follow the logo. This may take some time, so take your time and follow it frame by frame. I'm going to speed it up, but it's the same process. And as you are doing that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And leave your comments and questions down below. I will love to answer them. And if you are getting the benefits of this video, please give me a thumbs up. That will encourage me to create more and amazing tutorials. Now, bring the text clip in between the two clips. Select all the clips, right click on it, and then choose Nest. You can also rename it. Okay that's great, now that we have our nested sequence, look for the point where all the texts are visible. Pick the razor tool, and then, cut a visible part on the timeline. Now we have to duplicate the first clip, so hold the Alt key, and drag the first clip to the ending part of the clip. And for the last time, right click on it, and select speed and duration. Check reverse speed, and that's it. This will make the animation disappear, as it came in. Good. Now let's have a look at our final results. Great, now let's get back to our 1080p sequence. Here, the logo is not positioned well, because this sequence is different from the other one. So what we have to do is to adjust the scale and position, so that the animation will look good on this sequence. And that's it for today, I hope you learned something new, and thank you very much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel to get notified anytime I post a new video. You can also leave a comment down below. Jesus loves you, see you next week.